okay on my end. Conflict, conflict, conflict. It's like this mantra among fiction writers, right? And we all nod our heads in agreement because we all know that story conflict is integral to good storytelling. But even though all humans totally get story conflict on its most obvious level, altercation, understanding its uses and implementations in an actual story can be a little bit harder for us to get our heads around. Today I want to share a fabulous object lesson about story conflict that we can learn from Pixar's seminal work, Toy Story. Now this lesson is twofold and I'm just going to come straight out and tell you the first one. Lesson number one is simply this. Good story conflict isn't actually about character altercations. Story conflict is nothing more or less than the meeting of the character's goal with an obstacle that gets in the way of that goal. So the character is here, his goal is here, and the obstacle, the conflict, right here. So for today's example, I want you to remember the scene in Toy Story's third act in which the evil neighbor kid, Sid, has strapped Buzz to a rocket and taken him out to the yard to blow him up, leaving Woody locked in the bedroom. Saving Buzz is the goal, and that locked bedroom door is an obstacle, creating conflict. So it's pretty simple, right? And that obstacle is what then has Woody concocting this whole plan that begins with unlocking the bedroom door. Now let's say that overcoming that first bit of conflict and achieving that goal was the end of the scene. Nothing wrong with that. It is well structured. But complications are the stuff of good fiction and good conflict. So we should definitely not be surprised to find that master storytellers, such as those at Pixar, didn't stop there. What's waiting for Woody once he gets past that first obstacle of the locked door? Scud, the psycho bull terrier. Another even more dangerous obstacle. Just like that, the stakes are upped and the story is able to keep right on rolling. And that is lesson number two. 